now we will talk about for loop for loop is designed for something called counter driven loops and it's iterate over a fixed set of values fixed set of values provided in form of iterable object things uh, like list string dictionaries basically in counter driven loops iteration is over a list or tuple or string let's get familiar over the concept so for loop is designed for something called counter driven loops iterable over a fixed set of values so let's get familiar over the concept and let's see iterate over list of integers over a integer so l list is okay this is a list where there is a five elements 1 2 3 4 5 if you print all the components of it one way to do is just if we it will print if you want to print each element one by one for that what we will do we will use for loop so for that we will do for where you in where in l print where so you can see as we put this semi colon these column we have put here then print is inside the for loop so if i do print you can see how for loop works for loop works for iterating over a, a set of values one by one this is the way to do it it print element at zero index then index 1 then 2 so on so this is how you loop through a list and how you list through a iterable object which we call counter driven loops you can see here the basic difference let's try iterating over a string string new york so this is a string and we have to iterate through it so we will use for loop we will do for char characters or char in a string one way to do print is print a string if we do print a string then also the print the values so if i will do print char what will be the output this will be the output here is a space between new and your so here is also a space this is how the iteration works this is very similar to trading through a list and this is how you trade through a string too if you want to trade through a string one character at a time and the only difference is there there is a string and upper one is a list so one way 
if you want to trade through a string one character at a time then there is a another way too and there is a another way which is we use in print so we will use and here and i will tell you what it will works so if you do not mention anything like you do here the difference between just go to the next line here here if we just we i didn't mention like this here so this is the uh, way it will go to the iterate and will go to the next line it will iterate and go to the next line but if you uh, uh, mention here the default value of and that what is the default value of and default value and is so this is the default value of and so what we will do you can see how it will iterate over a string in different way here the default value just not go to the next line okay this is how it will work this is uh, how we trade over a string in different way and over a list in different way this is all about for loop from my side if you have any query please let me know and please like and subscribe my channel if you have not done yet thank you for watching my video thank you thank you so much